Aquarius, welcome to my channel. We're doing your weekly reading. This is the Exposing Your Soulmate's True Feelings for November 6 to the 12. This is the Aquarian Sun, Moon, and Rising. I do apologize. I am not in my studio right now. So please do bear with me. Okay, so let's see what's going on for the Aquarian. In our extended reading, we're going to see um, the true feelings of your soulmate in a, in a scenario or towards you. Okay, so let's see what's going on here with Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Here we go. You have mm -hmm. <laughs> not bad for a start. All right, so that's the lovers right there. <laughs> okay, so why <laughs> situation you're in can be really, really a soulmate card, right? So this is a good energy. This is where um, acquiring like you feel um, this kind of chemistry, attraction, soulful, fleshy. Um, normally, like a, a reader would not be able really to to describe the feelings. You would know, you know, as a Quran, you know what this is going on between the two of you. Um, you know, this is the irresistible energy. This is the part where um, you don't know why you uh, why this person is in your life and what's their business, what's their purpose. But it's it. They're here and they're there, and there's something fiery about it. There's also something. Um, good about it. It's it's both energies. This is a situation over here. Can we with Gemini? Okay. You have a lot of people are getting the Page of Pentacles, um, and the Page of Pentacles energy is about learning. Um, younger person, yes. Um, but this is also someone um, appreciating someone's looks, you know, like you could be with this person because uh, the lover's card is very physical also. So the connection that you guys have, you find this person, it's like they fit the bill. Um, one, you know, they're just gorgeous for whatever reason. They're gorgeous. They're handsome. They're beautiful. Okay. And the page of Pentacles here is um, energy from what I'm sensing is like, it's almost like you want to hug them. You want to, you just want to be all around them. Their presence, you know, the, the touch, the feel. That's what I'm sensing here with your soulmate. Very good energy. And there can be from a distance, a person, you know, who is not near you because you're, this is your expectation over here. Um, it's almost like someone here is sending out, because the page is a message, and then someone is just waiting for the talk. You know, ooh, if I say waiting for the talk, then something serious is being waited over here something big so this conversation entails how the connection will proceed because with the page of pentacles it's like it's starting and the other person is already wondering where is it going to lead to um what kind of manifestation this is uh, going towards to is this a life partner because the pentacles energy is to ground it the lovers is a major arcana which is you know thorough soulful you know so someone here is wondering is like is this just some sort of karmic relationship or is this someone that i was meant to be with you know that's a question that I'm sensing. It's not, a, I mean, it's not an air energy um, to have those thoughts, but it's an energy where you are basically in your head. Oh wow, dear me, Aquarians! <laughs> Underneath the lovers is the no, sorry, the two of cups. So it doesn't get more soulful than this, especially. It's not a clarifier. I mean, like this is not a clarifier energy, but this is what it entails. You know, that's what I. That's why how I do my spread. So, um, it's very good. There's reciprocity over here with regards to the soul connection. There's reciprocity. Like you feel confident that this person is your soulmate. This is, I mean, this is a yes card for yes, it is a soulmate. I mean, with this two aligning in the same, you know, spread, it is really, you know, um, call it whatever with, uh, you know, like, I don't know if um, you don't want to label it like that. But for me, that's what I'm sensing here. It's like, you re if it resonates, it's really, really your soulmate on point hundred <laughs> percent okay if it's resonating um this energy is someone i'm um, coaching someone is trying to to give out extend themselves if you see here the lovers is not extending yet the hands and here the hands are already together so someone here made a move extended themselves um basically taking action on the connection with the soulmate amazing Ooh. But you have your five of cups. This is now the, how, as real as it gets. Where there's conflict, conflict with regards to the two of cups. Because if someone is extending their hand and then someone is not really in it here, and then 
because the other person is still not seeing the connection. I told you it's like it's some sort some something soulful and it, it's being uh, manifested now. Wondering, someone is wondering, is this gonna be someone that I will spend my life with, basically? Okay, not the forever part, but your life, basically. Okay. Underneath the three of wands is the eight of swords. Okay, of course, out of the you know, some something good now it all shatters as real as it gets again. So the Eight of Swords, this is now you thinking, remember? I said it's like it's not an air energy where you're in your head, but now clearly someone is in their head thinking of how it will proceed and where it's gonna lead to. Okay, because this is something big that's coming and you know it, you feel it, but the other person is hesitant, doesn't see it yet as an earth energy. They see it probably, they would agree with this, like, yeah, we feel something, but is it enough? to put it into grounded energy where there is commitment. So, Aquarian, I'm going to continue this reading with how your soulmate feels, uh, exposing their true feelings, sorry. Their true feelings. <laughs>